enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Good, yeah. You all look ready for a good yeah, chat? Yeah, yeah. What kind of pressures do you face? The barriers or challenges I face is, to, you know, got to do with my gender. Yeah. Um, and I kind of, I kind of translate that into motivation. Um, you know, to, to go out there and be as prepared as like I'm. I'm, a, I'm a, an overthinker. I'm. I over prepare. I prefer to go in like with self belief. Yeah. That I think gives confidence and which I think will emphasize or will heighten performance maybe. Um, yeah. But there's nothing worse for me when I come off a pitch and I know I haven't performed above par. And then I, I you know, I kind of don't do social media anymore because it could just be a head mess. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but like people bring it back to, oh, she's, she, she shouldn't be refereeing, like yeah, she's a yeah. woman. And, um, and I'm very proud of the fact that I haven't, like being a gay woman doesn't really come up often. And I'm proud of that. Yeah, like, that's great. Yeah, yeah. It is great. Um, we have come a long way, like, um, but still, they still bring it back to the fact that I'm a female and it drives me ballistic. Yeah. So I do have a lot of pressure because I, I feel a sense of responsibility, I suppose, to to you know, open those doors for other females coming through, no matter yeah. what environments they're working in. Like, but I suppose your pressures as a player, like they have to be massive. Like, obviously you're involved with the Leinster massive squad with many talented players. But what, what kind of pressures would you come? Across? I think for me, a lot of it's internal pressure. I think, I think anyone to get like get to a high level of sport is somewhat a perfectionist, but that's not always particularly helpful. I think. Um, I've definitely gotten better at it over the years, just to be a bit kinder kind to myself of. and kind of try just enjoy it a bit more and not be, you know, not beating yourself up um, after after making a mistake or whatever. Um, I kind of do that by backing my preparation. So, you know, I know if I've done all my work during the week and set myself up well to perform, then you know, if it doesn't go so well, then you can kind of say, well, it, like I I gave myself the best chance to perform. So yeah. Come away with no regrets. Yeah, exactly. I kind of yeah, have that mentality yeah, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, certainly it's a, it's, it's definitely a lot of my own pressure put on myself. I think. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you know, in Leinster we're obviously very like with very high standards for ourselves. So and obviously the the fans expect expect a lot as well. So there is that pressure as well. But of course, you kind of just have to stick to what what and who is important, which is your kind of your teammates yeah. and your coaches and that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's funny that you said that because since I, I had Alfie, um, I, I used to like overly concentrate in the negatives of like off the back of a performance or lack of performance um, and touch on the, the good points. And yeah. I think I've realized now like um, I have better perspective. Yeah. Like in the end of the day, family is my, pr my, my number one. And um, there's many referees out there who don't, you know, to come away with the performance they want. Um, and I've, I've just, I, to your point, be kinder. Like, I think yeah. it's really important. And that's across the board, I think, as yeah. well. Like, just be kinder to ourselves. Um, what advice would you give a 16 year old? Like, if someone was listening today, what advice, if, if you could give yourself advice, you know, as a 16 year old, looking back, what, what would you? Um, I think I'd be more proactive about mental health and kind of talking to people as we've talked about already uh, today. Um, you know, leaning in on my support network a bit earlier. Um, so I'm not like making problems as to be bigger than they are. Yeah. Um, I think advice to a 16 year old, kind of what we discussed already, maybe just picking out one person, it might be your best friend or it could be a parent or a coach or um, a teacher um, maybe discuss it with them and you know they'll help you make a plan um, to come out and mm -hmm. you know if it's someone you trust you know they're not gonna they're not gonna put you under any pressure to to do any f make any further steps until you're ready so I think I think yeah. that's important. I suppose like you you you, you can have a large family you could have a small family or, or maybe you don't feel comfortable with being the first person, being a family member, but there are many people within our circles that we can. Yeah. And I think that first person is, it's its really important that you have that trust. Yeah. Um, no, I agree, for sure. I think I'd probably tell my 16 year old self to, to be kinder to myself as well. Yeah. Um, 
we're going to come across experiences in our life that we won't know what to do and we'll react in the wrong way. Yeah. And it's learn from those experiences because, you know, that's, that's life. Even to this day, we're going to come across difficult moments mm. and it's about how we adapt to that yeah. um, and provide us with the tools. Like, I've, I've, I've learned so much from refereeing and I've, I've tried to transfer that into my personal life. Like, I've learned so much. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm, I'm very much of the mentality that you can create something very positive from a negative experience mm. if you've got the right mindset. Um, so I think if, if I was a, if I could give that bit of advice to the 16 year old me, I wouldn't have suppressed those feelings I had. Yeah. Like I was 24 when I came out and I knew when I was 12, I, t I, t I remember saying to my mom, I couldn't take my eyes off, you know, um, these girls, pair legs, um, she was in a skirt and I knew there was something not right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was trying to figure it out and my mum said, oh, you're just exploring, you know, it's natural. And, and, and from that moment on, I just suppressed those feelings. Yeah. No, not that she understood what I was even saying to her. I probably didn't even understand what I was properly saying. But yeah. looking back now, I knew what I was trying to, to do there. And, yeah. um, you know, 24 is a very, <laughs> very late period of yeah. someone's life to come out. But yeah, it was just yeah. that fear. Like, I think it's, it's that fear, and I think that fear lifts um, when, when we do, you know, confide in someone we trust, um, yeah. and little by little, you become more confident. Yeah. Um, so that's probably the advice I'd give myself. I suppose we were talking about high-pressure environments, like, and strategies that I use is, um, you know, there's nothing worse than you come away and you make a high-impact decision, like it's the outcome of the game, and yeah. you feel like absolute crap leaving the pitch. As a player, you knock on the ball over the try line and it's a two point game. Um, but like certainly strategies that I would use is at one point, like I used to fear mistakes. Um, um, I, I just didn't, I, 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 I didn't like refereeing because I, I didn't like all the mistakes I was making, but in any new environment, you're gonna make mistakes. Yeah. And I've, what I've realized is, and it's definitely benefited me is the fact that I need to like um, I need to grab those moments and those experiences and understand the why you break it down. I don't know if you're similar as a player, but for me, if I can understand why the mistakes happen, it minimizes them from happening further and, yeah. and creates growth and development. Yeah. And instead of coming away feeling crap about it, a, a, a hard situation, I feel more empowered with taking control of that and turning it into something positive yeah. through the learnings I, I have through that bad experience. Mm -hmm. It's now a positive. Um, and I think that's that's again that that I've tra I've trans transferred that into my my personal life. Yeah. I think that that could probably help a young person if they're if they're dealing with whatever they're dealing with. It doesn't have to be sexuality related. Yeah, like yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, um, yeah. What yeah, kind I of strategies? Find, um, definitely, like for me, I'd write stuff down. I think it's an easy way to just mm. get it off your mind and park it, and then. Do you know, then maybe go and meet meet a friend for a coffee, play a round of golf, that kind of thing. But I think definitely for me, having stuff to switch off from, from rugby is important, um, just to get for away sure. from that environment. Because when you're in there, it's it's very intense and you can it's pretty consuming. So yeah, 